Book 313. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today, I'm going to tell you guys about the young girl and the gluttonous demons. That's right, the young girl and the gluttonous demons. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, A long, long time ago, in the area of the earth that we call Africa today, a holy man was training his apprentice in the craft of casting out demons. This apprentice, who was one of my ancestors no less, asked the holy man to tell him about one of his most difficult exorcisms. The holy man thought about it a while and then decided which story he would tell him. A long, long time ago, the holy man began, I encountered a group of demons possessing a young girl. These types of demons who possessed her were very strong indeed. The holy man went on to explain that he was invited to the house of a former because his daughter was acting strangely. Her voice had changed and her attitude was deplorable and this girl had gone from being a good child to the most wicked child in the area. She would torture animals, fight her peers, and show zero respect to her parents and other adults. When the holy man arrived at the home, he quickly realized that the girl was acting this way because her mind was possessed by what the ancestors call gluttonous demons. These demons did not put the spirit of gluttony on a person, rather these demons were gluttonous themselves. And their favorite food was negativity, anger, rage, and hate. Upon these things the demons feasted and they grew stronger with each meal. The holy man said that he did battle with these demons for three weeks straight and after much prayer and effort he expelled them from the girl's mind. Not wishing to die and go back to the underworld, however, the gluttonous demons flew off with much speed and sought refuge in another land. The holy man chased them, but he could not move as fast as a demon. In this new land, the demons began to grow weak, and they sought out someone who was negative and wicked so that they could feed upon them and regain their strength. As the gluttonous demons slithered around the village, growing weaker by the minute, they heard in the distance a young girl yelling at her parents and saying how much she hated them. Wasting no time, the demons flew off in her direction, and they found the young girl arguing with her parents because she did not like the dinner they prepared. Grinning, the gluttonous demons quickly entered the young girl's mind and began to whisper to her wicked things that increased her anger towards her parents. Before long, she was not only mad about the dinner, but she was also accusing her parents of not loving her, and she wished they were dead. The gluttonous demons encouraged the young girl to become angrier, and indeed, she did. Before the night was done, the young girl was cursing her parents, cursing her siblings, and even cursing the guards themselves for causing her to be born in such a household. The gluttonous demons began to feast on her hate and negativity, and they got stronger and stronger. As their strength grew, they caused the young girl to act more and more wicked. By the time the holy man arrived, the gluttonous demon had caused the young girl to experience the ultimate level of hate. The ultimate level of hate being self-hate. The holy man saw the young girl tying a rope around her neck and around a tree and she sought to take her own life. Rushing over to her, the holy man worked his prayer, said his prayers, employed his tools of exorcism, and he engaged in a heated battle with the gluttonous demons. The battle was fierce, and the girl even attacked the holy man for trying to save her, but he did not give up. He used his magic to force positive thoughts and love inside of her mind, and this positivity caused the demons to become weaker and weaker. The holy man told her how special she was, and he told her she was beautiful, and he used these kind words and encouragement to counter the wicked whispers of the gluttonous demons. At last, the demons were weak enough to be expelled from her mind, and this time he trapped them before they could flee, and he cast them all back into the darkness of the underworld. And so, the holy man told his apprentice, that battle with the gluttonous demons was one of my most difficult exorcisms. And so, the morning motivation of today is the young girl and the gluttonous demons. There are those in this world who will try to make you negative and wicked simply because they feed off of this type of behavior. Their entire purpose for existing is to make you hate the entire world and to hate yourself. They somehow find enjoyment in this. The only way to protect yourself from these types of people is to not fall victim to negative and hateful thoughts. Today, if someone tries to cause you to be hateful and rude, recognize that they are possessed with the gluttonous demons and do not allow them into your life and do not feed them. 
Instead, avoid them at all costs and always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning. To order books in the Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels book series, search Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels on Amazon.com or visit www.dandyandbighearn.com.